say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. This is the day that the Lord has made for you and me, so that we rejoice His presence. How are we going to rejoice His presence? When Jesus is solving your problem, removing poverty, replacing it with blessings, removing sickness, and giving you good health. That is why David said, I was very glad when they said, when they said let us go in the house of God. Because he knew that entering the house of God will change his life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to talk about faith. Tell your neighbor, say, apply faith. Not your problem. Apply faith to God's power. Because your problem does not know you know God's power. It is only faith that can you not recognize the power of God. Apply faith to the power of God. If you apply faith, there's no situation that can deny the power of faith. Faith is not the word that came from you and me. It is the word from God Almighty. So when you are talking about your issues, what you are going through, talk with faith. After that, apply faith to the God's power. It's more like a matches and kerosene. If you put or petrol, you put petrol on the on the ground or on the woods, then you put a flame of matches. You see a big flame. That is, kerosene and matches must move together for them to be what? Fire. Meaning your faith must marry the power of God for you to receive that solution or that answer. I talked about the lead last week who had, you know, a problem of bleeding for 12 years. For how many years? And she spent all, all, in search of solution, but no one could solve that problem. She was, you know, each and every time she met this one, I've been breathing, please, I need help, help me. On that day, she never, you know, consulted anyone to say, can I go and see Jesus? No. Because she had enough. She said, no. This time around, only faith can talk to the power of God. My problem has failed me. I've been carrying my problem to the power of God. Each and every time I apply, I mean, approach the power of God with my problem, I'll still go back with my problem. This time around, let me carry faith. Immediately, the Lord received the healing. So apply faith to the power of God. Not your problem. If you keep on saying, Mwelesa, Nachula Sana, God see me. Uh, my friends, uh, last week uh, I witnessed another wedding. Last week uh, I witnessed it. That one cannot bring solution to your problem. It is faith where you say, enough is, I will not talk. Let me apply faith. Because faith is not your word. It is the word from God. Applied to your problem to the extent whereby you know you are even risking your life because faith always demanded the impossible to be what possible. So tell your neighbor, say, apply faith to God's power. 
Apply first the power of God. Because when you apply faith, you are calling power. Amaka ya kwa le sata yonfu ama problems. Yonfu e chicheteke lo. Yonfu e suvi lo. Na la pola, na la pola le nshi. Na la palwa, na la pali le nshi. Salvation. So apply faith. These humans, you know, if you look at the situation... Sometimes when you hear someone complaining about this, no, I've been facing this problem for now two years, it may look like nothing to you because it's not you who is going what that person is going through. But if you put yourself in the shoes of that woman, you understand the agony, the stigma. Faith demanded the impossible to be what? It is only faith that knows how to call the power of God. Pastor is not the healer or deliverer. It is the power of God. If you say you pray for people, you are not praying for people because you have got uh, two hands. No. You are filled with what? And the person you are praying for must carry what? Faith. Are you there, people of God? The, the, the person who is praying for you must be filled with what? Not your voice. Make no mistake. Not your word. This is why you see everyone, including myself, spiritually, let me say this before I take you to the book of uh, Luke 5, verse 17. There are levels in the spirit. There are certain things that you cannot do even if you are a believer or you are a man of God. Because it is not you, but the power of God in you. You may qualify yourself that you can pray, that you can preach, but you are preaching without filled with what? Power. Even prayer, you can offer any prayer at any time. As long as you are not filled with power, that is sound. But when, you know, someone is filled with power, even without talking, as long as faith is calling power, Power will move and locate where that faith is coming from. Before you know it, solution has come. Sometimes you do not want to fake. In the Kumanya Kwaban to more popular line. Now move people. That's why in the Bama Kansalati, Gamlela and Navantu, tell them that when the power of God comes upon your life, you have a lot to play. Which law? Have faith in God. Man can disappoint you. Friends can disappoint you, but the power of God cannot disappoint you. Yeah. Mulenga is not the healer. The healer is Jesus. The healer is who? It's Jesus. Let's go to the book of Luke 5 verse 17. This is 17. One day, Jesus was teaching and the Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Take note of that one. People came from different villages. Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. Even the fort finders were there sitting. They were not there to listen or to learn or to believe. No. To find something against Jesus. But the Bible says that the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Come on, people of God. I hope you, are, you understand this one. Jesus was not there with the word alone. The power of the Lord accompanied him to heal the sick. And people came from different angles of that area to receive their healing. 
Even Pharisees, teachers of the law, were there sitting down and listening. In short, they were just observing to see if you make you know, a mistake or break one of the rules so that they can bounce on him. But the power of God was with him to heal the sick. Listen to this now. This is where I draw this, you know, uh, strength. In verse 18, some men came calling a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. Some men came with someone who is paralyzed completely. They were trying to bring him, you know, inside the house in front of Jesus. Listen to this now, verse 19. Praise the Lord. When they could not find a way to do this, because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the towers into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. <laughs> this is faith now. This is what? They could not find a way to bring this, you know, brother very close to Jesus. Because of what? The crowd. Now they went outside. Climbing the wall now. And opened what? The roof. And lowered the gentleman. Dialect in front of Jesus. This is what Jesus said. When Jesus, this is 20, saw this. I mean, when Jesus saw their faith, he said, friends, your sins are forgiven. What kind of faith is this? They did not apply, I mean, they did not carry their problem to Jesus. They applied their faith to the power of God. Is there anyone here who can think about removing one loaf and lowered a paralyzed man? And the ushers are there all over the church. Can you do that? See the way faith works. When you are applying faith to the power of God, you risk your integrity. You will not mind the shame. If they discover that, oh, there are people behind the church climbing the church. Not only that, they are removing one of the roofing sheets. Not only that, people are praying and saw someone coming down on the mat. What kind of faith is that? Can Jesus disappoint a man of faith like these people? Can Jesus reject your faith after risking your life? The power of God accompanied him. But you are not going to get that power because of your complaint. Because of how many years you have been in barrenness. How many years you have been, you know, in poverty. How many years you have been sick. You will not receive that power. You need to apply your faith to the power of God like these colleagues. They lowered him down. And Jesus saw their faith. He said, friends, your sins are what? When your sins are forgiven, remember that you are restored. What makes you and me to be limited in resources, to be sick in body, is because of sin. Sin is not only drinking beer or sleeping with a man or a woman. Even when you are entertaining your weakness, you are committing sin out of your what? Your weakness. If you overlook one of his words, remember that at the end of the day, you are committing what? Sin. Jesus said, your sins are... Guess what? The man who could not stand and walk by himself, after that pronunciation from our Savior, he received what? Strength. They applied faith to the power of God and like the way we pray. 
kaisha wao mumfa wape pashani tata miaka ya sela ngibu kisheni nga ana lipe ponsha apepele ana tapali obo aipuishe ana did not compare herself to anyone she just apply a faith without even voicing out faith always demanded the impossible to be what possible these brothers applied their faith to the power of god and god answered them immediately he answered them the woman in the book of john 8 verse 43 she touched him and jesus said no who has touched me the crowd said no look at the number of people who are surrounded you then how do you know that somebody has touched? he said no power has gone out of my body i'm trying to connect you to this message the the power was with jesus to heal what i'm talking to you the power was with who to heal what the sick this woman touched jesus and power left him to do what to heal the woman so there's no way i can pray for you without the power of god in me and you expect healing there is no way I can pray for you without faith in you. And you expect, you expect what? Healing. These two must go together. These two must go what? Go together. Power has gone out of my body. When you are praying for someone, if I tell my brother there to say, my brother, stand up, let me pray for you. I will not look, I mean, move by his appearance. He may stand very firm and very strong. But the power of God in me will be, will be the one to lead me to say, he is going down. I don't know how many seconds he will be standing. The confirmation is, is not through his body. The confirmation is within me through the power of God to say, he will go down and you start what? Vomiting. That's why you see when you are praying for someone, okay, let him vomit or let her vomit. And the person doesn't look like someone who, who is what? Vomiting. Prayer is not a guesswork. It is the power of God. Releasing by faith. That is prayer. You cannot pray according to your situation. You pray according to the power of God. You receive through your faith. You apply what? Because what is impossible to your situation, it will be possible to your faith. Because when you believe in Jesus, you receive faith. Meaning, you trust him. Like David said in the book of uh, Psalms 25 verse 1. That I trust you. My trust is in you. Do not let me be put to shame. Shame will come on those who are quick to rebel against you. But those who trust in him, they always receive what? Answers from him. I hope you are getting something. The power of God accompany who? Jesus. To heal what? Are you telling me that all this crowd that came to Jesus? No, there were many. Why did they pick only this one? It's to teach you that receiving from God is by faith. Not when you are complaining. When you are complaining, you are reporting your case to your enemy. They will continue fixing you, fixing you, fixing you. But when you apply faith, even when you see that things are not moving, but by faith, I can see a land closer. I can see myself driving what? Land closer. I can see myself, you know, uh, doing very fine. I see myself, you know, recovered. I see myself getting what? Married. That is faith. That is faith. Be original and be yourself so that you face the reality. And when you face the reality, there you apply faith. And faith now start now demanding what is impossible to your mind to be possible to your heart. So that you can trust Jesus more and more. Are you getting the point? 
before I start praying for you, you need to know this. I see people grabbing my hands. There are people who cannot allow you to pray for them until they talk to you. You try to dodge them, they will grab your hand. Let me pray for you. No, my pastor, let me pray for you. The spirit knows your problem. No, my pastor, please. You see, you see the situation? If you go without listening to them, they are disturbed. As if it's Tabeshi Lepona Kwisa. Change. You, if you look at, you see them on the camera, you see the way they are standing. Mumu Timachi Muffin, they have a problem, but they pity. Now we should go for now, we should find the pitam. No banga bang for it enough for a mile. Instead of you applying what? Faith to the power of God. You are contacting your fellow human being to be a solution to your problem. It doesn't work like that. What is killing human beings is in the spirit. And what is saving you, human beings, is the Holy Spirit. Apply faith to the power of God like these colleagues. The power of God is there. And if you don't know, the power of God will not go back to him until... If you listen to me, amaka te abu ere la mo paka ya abu mbe fi ya to me ne. Te aku atapa ku ya ikalanga te achire create if you listen asin dele. So apply your faith to the power of you receive your answer. What is impossible to your money, to whatever you are using to solve that problem, faith and the power of God are twins. Both, they are saving the purpose of God in your life. Your problem does not know God. Your sickness does not know God. What you are going through will not recognize that this is Jesus. No. Your pain cannot you know, tell you that the power of God is here. I am going, no, 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 no. Power is there to destroy you. I mean, uh, this pain is there to destroy you. The power of God is there to heal you. But we need to apply your what? Your faith. Jesus said, listen to this. Let me repeat this. 20. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, friends, your sins are forgiven. Listen to what these people said, the Pharisees, in verse 21. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began to think, and be thinking themselves, who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? How can he forgive sins but God alone? Jesus answered them like this. Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your heart? Which one is easier? Which one is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up and walk? He give them this too. It is very easy. Anyone can say, be healed. Be what? It is very easy. It is not easy for anyone to say, stand up and walk to the paralyzed man. It is not. So he told them that even you, you can say this, but you cannot tell this person to say, rise and do what? Walk. It is the power of God. Meaning he was telling them that the power of God is within me to heal. I am not saying your sins are forgiven. I am also telling this person to say, rise and do what? Walk. Let's go to uh, six, the same book, Luke 6 verse 19. I'll just read this one. And make sure that this message might find a place in your heart. Don't pray according to what you are going through. Don't pray according to the situation. The sickness or disease. Apply faith to the power of God. This is 19. And the people who tried to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. Only this one. I'm trying to connect 
you people to this message. And the people who tried to touch him because the power was coming from him and healing them all. People discover that this man is filled with what? Power. What are you learning from this? Even if you are a pastor, an evangelist, let me just say a Christian, don't pray for someone without the power of God. You don't know what you are doing to yourself. You don't know what you are doing to yourself. If you touch someone who is filled with the evil power and you are empty, this evil power will leave this person and enter your what? Your body. This is why Jesus was, you know, was unstoppable and unquestionable. There are so many things which Satan had tried to do against Jesus. But because the power was coming out of his body to fight the opposite side of his life, they could not bring him down. Prayer is not your voice or my voice. It is the release of the power of God. Be healed, which means power is released. Be delivered, which means power is released. And where that power is going, faith is the one calling the power. Are we people of faith? Hmm? Are we people of faith? Do you have faith in God? Hmm? <laughs> I'm telling you, Satan is a killer, is a destroyer. Satan I cannot fear you because you pray in tongues. There are people who pray in tongues, not because of the Holy Spirit. They have learned how to pray in tongues. There are people who pray in tongues through the power of the Holy Ghost. The language they use is power. Mwele sana pepa, nanaka, tata. Apape na nomba nana, kana fika kulasti. Ole fika kumpela. Not na kulasti. Kajiji kumpela nge kulasti. Nana kana fika kuisa. Apply your faith to the power of God. The power of God is real. The power of God is real. And the power of God is more than our problem. Anyone can take, you know, his problem through your faith. Don't carry your problem to say, No. Tell Jesus that I believe, it. I trust you. Whether you answer me today or not, I believe in you. That you are going to answer me one day. Because I know that your power is real. It is your power that brought me to this life. And I know that you are aware of what I am going through. That is the right prayer you need to offer. He knows your problem. From the one you came to this life. He knows what you go through. Jesus told so. That you are going to suffer for my sake. You go through a lot of persecutions. Paul was beaten, flogged, locked up. And the power of God was there watching. It doesn't mean that you, God is no, does not care about your life. Or you are neglected. No, 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 no. Trust in him. Continue believing in him. Apply your faith to his power. This is why you see there are so many premature, you know, leadership. Because we are just moving with the word without what? Power. If you see someone being used by the power of the Holy no. Be careful. Yes, there are scripture which says, be careful, false prophets will come. It doesn't mean that everyone is a false prophet. No. Anything original, there must be a fake. But as a child of God, the Spirit of God will be the one to lead you where to find what? A solution. 
So apply your faith to what? You see solution. Stop complaining. Stop what? This woman never consulted anyone in that area to say, please, I want to know. Is this man Jesus real? I heard him, people are saying he has done this or that. She said, no. This one, I will not even talk to anyone. I will just go and touch him. My prayer is that. Let the faith of this woman and the faith of these brothers who carried a paralyzed man be in your heart. Stop trusting yourself. Stop trusting yourself or money or your fellow human beings. No one cares for you here on earth. It is only your father in heaven. He knows your problem. He understands what you are going through. Come on, children of God. Umundunga kuti aisula church afunya bwela ta. Chishi bekete. Le sale lo le shapachi cheteke lo bakweti ababantu. Ai kata na balabonsi abale kontolo la ile nchende bele no 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 no. Ichi cheteke lo chifule chale mbwa mwibuku ya ndie. Mwibakanya ne lata balafunya mwibakanya. No mutenge bachashani. No mulwele bachashani baikisha. Le sava langa ichi cheteke lo echi. Interviews. Then I'll break a fat and I'll break a napoke la fonico. Kuri banani, kuri uriom sungu, tindefu kukupa. Ah. Na wava senda three days yaven. Yole satava pere na wava sende ishi. Na wava amba fio kwenda mwele sa three days. Three days. Three days. That is photocopy. Hmm? In that three days day, you know, that is photocopy. Mwame vokula landa mwele sanjewe la tira ene fari pa kubleka. Hmm, tia la chitika, ninche teke la fia, ta fia chitike. Because you are in a paper mwini mwini situation. Uriyo mwini anu icha pepele ni fes. Ta la cheteke la pofoni kukuli konse. Ichiche teke lo, takuwa woku ishiwa tukuwa lafu mefinyu kwa. Aa, kuwa fiyo kupepa fiye. Elo le sabuka no mbebele mwana wandi ni nkumfwa. Ya mbo kupokelela. That is faith. Noti, eh, na mwisa mwikefu kushabala pela oyo. Ichi wote tumufwe Muneta huma fika Basi Njipushe kwa ushe Bala Kwa hili oyo Because Bali ufwa testimony Anshi Ya oyo Taveshire muku pepa Veshire kuri oyo So nga taba sende oyo If you want the village Tika panoma rubbish Whatever you are doing Is rubbish Not until Somebody told that To say yes They will give you oyo Ah if your mother, you may have a if your mother. And when you give her oil, my lesa, and in the oil of one fish, lesa wava mudenka. Eh? Lesa wava nani? Lesa wava mudenka. After you have a lot of people, you have a lot of people. I don't know the next prayer. Nga kwa la watile so wava nani? The next prayer. Mwele sa finji nka wafia yine. Be a human and a man of what? Faith. Apply faith to the power of God. Thank you. God bless you.